When the eruption of the latest Sununka crater chains started in the Reykjanes Peninsula of the Iceland, it was visible. We could see the effect of the first fissure opening, then the second fissure opening, and then it is spread toward the south up and toward the Grindavik, the town that was evacuated due to earthquakes in the uh, November. Since then, what we are seeing is that the visible uh, part of the lava has hit the walls. It formed a defense practically on its own when it solidified and it stopped the rest of the lava uh, coming toward that area. So practically lava was trapped, becoming localized, and then it was uh, forming one visible part near the crater and the rest of it underneath two lava tubes. And at the moment is surrounded the visible part between the Sundunka and the Hagafa. In just one crater, I called it K1. Thickening of the lava continues at that defensive wall. But we had a breakthrough lately when the thickening of the lava actually reached the surface, breakthrough, and the lava oozed out of the tongue of the uh, lava reaching the south. This is the original uh, view it was going toward the east. Now, it may move eventually toward the south and form something that we were afraid of without, of course, the King Kong and dinosaurs, gas pollution around the sea. The Swartzengi volcanic system continues to accumulate magma and it may erupt eventually or contribute to the uh, eruption, the current one. At the moment, we are running out of the uh, chart space for drawing the rest of the line. So we just mark it like that 10 days from now. But it can change when we have more space on the diagram. At the moment, it is 10 uh, million cubic uh, meters of lava have gathered under the Swartzengi, and it may erupt any moment. At the moment, we are seeing a slight increase in the eruption level. Lots of gas, the gassing, as you can see here, uh, emanating from the K1 crater, creating a huge amount of the light pollution in the Reckonus Peninsula. Only in the Reckonus Peninsula we are talking about. Rest of the Iceland is all right. This area is uh, uh, experiencing sulfur dioxide cloud pollution. It makes uh, life a little bit uneasy if you have to do some outdoor activities. But if you are indoors or you're not in the way of this uh, you know, wind blowing the gas, you are all right. You will be all right. What we are seeing on this map is the outline map of Iceland with the blue dot showing the uh, gas pollution area or the gas uh, sulfur dioxide cloud uh, gas you can see there.